I call on Government Order of the Day number one. 2011-12 Financial Review Bill, Committee Stage. I declare the House and Committee for further consideration of the appropriation 2011-12 Financial Review Bill. Mr Speaker. Mr Chairman. The House, the House is in committee. Ki ora tato, uh, no reira te fori inga iwi inga rio inga hawe fa tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. Honourable members, when this was last being debated, we were considering the appropriation 2011-2012 financial review, and we were debating the report of the local government and environment committee on the. 2011-2012 financial review of the Ministry for the Environment. The Honourable Member Eugenie Sage had the call and she has two minutes and 20 seconds remaining if she so wishes to seek the call. You do. Then I will call the Honourable Member. Ten One of the major changes that the Ministry for the Environment is working on as part of its policy under this government is so to change the, the way in which planning is done under the RMA the so that ministers would have much more power to intervene and direct councils to amend or change their plans. So instead of the ministry developing policy statements and national environmental standards so that so we have we consistent environmental policy around New Zealand, we would have the minister being able to intervene to pick and choose winners, to potentially direct the Northland councils to uh, promote mining in their plans, or Hawke's Bay to have policies which would make it easier for mega, uh, think big, risky schemes like Ruatanifa to proceed, or in Auckland for the minister to be able to smash the uh, metropolitan urban limits in order to um, allow urban sprawl when the council had specifically put those limits in place to to avoid urban sprawl. As prominent Blue Greens member and former ministerial adviser Guy Salmon has said, this is what they do in China. Mr Speaker, this is worse than the National Development Act in the Muldoon era. era. And it is this ministry under this government which is promoting these substantive changes to the Act and also proposing to strip out five of the key environmental principles in the heart of the Act, uh, the purpose in part two. And Mr Speaker, these, Mr Chair, these changes are deeply troubling because they potentially promote the politicisation of the public service and the ministry and the potential for more dodgy backroom deals as we've seen with Sky City. And when you have a ministry that's only got 280-odd staff, those staff are based in Wellington. The ministry does not have any regional offices in Christchurch or in Auckland anymore. So it's simply not credible to believe that the ministry would be adding value on the specific cha challenges that we have on land management, water management, coastal management in a particular region by giving these powers to the minister. Because the powers won't be promoting consistent policy, they'll only be eroding democracy. Right, the question is the question is that the report of the Local Government and Environment Committee on the 2011 2012 Financial Review of the Ministry of Environment be noted. So, I understand the next financial review. Okay. Honourable Members, I understand that the next financial review that members wish to debate 